Hello, I'm Lord Cunworthy, and this is Chester County. It was the 17th century, and Chester County was expanding faster than a whore's vagina. The first log cabins ever built in this county was squeezed hot out of the ass of Sir Stovetop. That's right, he shit out each and every individual log to form these cabins. Stick your cock in this tree, and you'll be as cool as Sir Thomas. Raconius was his name, and he liked doggy style, so he used this pipe to hold his wife's head still while he did her. But when she got fatter, he was forced to build a larger one. This is Senator Grimshaw, rumored to have the biggest cock in the county. Well, of course, Lord Batara wanted to separate fact from fiction, so they agreed to exchange blowjobs in this cider house. But to Lord Batara's surprise, when he undid the senator's trousers, a mere log fell out. Well, looks like the joke's on you, Lord Bataro. See that guy in the corner? He whacks off to pictures of dogs. Nigel the Warrior built these two homes to ward off invading Mongolian tribes. But when they didn't show up, some freak bitch I've seen at Exton Mall did. And she got so bored, she fingered herself to death. Madam Flounder's pussy was said to be the most feared bush in the entire county. It was rumored that it even ripped the balls off of this old man. The ghost of Sire Rickenbach haunted this trail, but it also haunted the ass of Mr. Stroob as he attempted to stagger home drunken one August night. This is a wine house owned by Father Falcone, and some nights the father became so horny that he snuck out this basement door only to take a shit piss on the first pair of tits he could find. This is an enormous monument, and it was in honor of Duke Ellington's ten-year erection, who then released like a cannon all over the pearl necklace-loving chest of Lady Halibut. But it's no longer a green county with rolling hills. Now it's overrun with towering skyscrapers and satellite dishes. This is Lord Cunworthy saying thanks for joining us and good night.